Right, we're gonna go drifting again, but we gotta get rid of the. Yeah, we gotta get rid of that bash bar. You need to broke it. Ah, oh, the back piece broke. Huh. So we gotta bend some stuff back. New bash bar, new back fiberglass piece. We have a used one from last year. We'll probably trim some of the metal or the <laughs> metal fiberglass out of the middle to make it less new bash bar got to fix the front bumper the rear bumper should work fine just got to re-put it in we might have to fix a little bit of fiberglass on this rear fender and then switch the alignment back to flat track instead of circle track stuff and then we're ready to go tomorrow so we're gonna be working on this for a little bit Packing out rubber, cutting fiberglass, uh, riveting new metal pieces in here from Toyota, and then we will start rebuilding the back. So I had to cut these two zip ties to let this open up enough to find space for it to fit how we like. It's pretty messed up, so I drilled some extra holes where we'll rivet it on so it kind of keeps its shape until the next incident with a wall. But, better than wasting another bumper. We're trying to use one a year or one every other year. There we go, guys. Put some new stuff on the back. Got it all back together. It's been like two hours, maybe, hour and a half. So that was a used piece that also smacked the wall a little bit, had a little bit of stress fractures, and we fixed it a couple times. But majority still works. It's held in place. Um, we're just gonna run this tail light until next year for like winter jam and whatever other practice we do. Um, once you put those down, it fits good. This had some damage. So just gonna run it for the rest of the year like this. We're working on the fenders right now. But should be good. I gotta go do some typing and emailing, unfortunately. That part's boring. But, Joe's fiberglassing out there. Let me show you real quick. We still gotta do the alignment. Ola had to fix some of his stuff yesterday, so we're copying him. Whoa. Joe's good at fiberglass. Oh, Joe's driving an RX-4. Okay, we are loading up to go drifting already. We're gonna go do some testing with some Nexen tires. Nexen, Fira, Sur 4. We're gonna do two Supros testing and it's happening at Willow Springs tomorrow. But for right now, loading up so we can leave really early. Showing you guys the process, loading up. You've seen it before. Uh, next will be my Supra. Then we'll get some cool drifting shots tomorrow. Okay, I gotta go. It's getting nice down there. Great! Look at how close that is. Go. See that? You guys like that long pause in the middle? This is the rest of the stuff we're gonna need for fun day tomorrow. Okay, see you guys. <laughs> Bye. The Lone Rider. <laughs> Do a wheelie. Huh? Wheelie, wheelie, wheelie. Too much uphill. Need more 2JZ. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, like real. yeah. Pretty quiet. Pretty quiet. <laughs> see ya. He's a good guy. He likes riding a bike. All right, we gotta go get Ola. Let's go get him. Hey guys. Ola. Okay. So, 
Now we're gonna go meet up with Bob from Super Street. And there's some McLarens here. Bob's in the cars and he invited us to this. Not sure what we're in for, but of course everyone likes McLarens, right? So let's go find out. So basic McLarens. Let's hope there's a period correct. 99 McLaren. How's it going? That's what we're hoping for. Oh, that's a Ferrari, but there's like 12 McLarens here. But I don't see the one I wanted to see, Bob. Which one is uh, the Supra? No. Supra's not a McLaren. No. I didn't want to. I, oh, I wanted to see a Supra. We wanted to see the McLaren from the 90s. Oh, yeah. I don't. I don't see the middle seat. The middle seat. It's like a. L M N. You guys know. Tell me what that cool McLaren is yeah. that has the three seats. Comment below. I mean, I could look it up, but I don't have time right now. So you guys can tell me. Comment below. Let's go see what's here. We got here kind of early. Kinda. Let's go see. That's gotta be front, right? Yeah. Where's Chance? That's the newer one. 720 S. LT. That's still nice. You guys would like this. Good daily. Right? I think so. Put a 2J in it? Yeah, just put a 2J or a 3J and then you'll be good to go. Then the car will find the work. I would drift. That's I would cool. drift it. That'd be a pretty good drift car, I think. Maybe. Possibly. Wait, is that an RC car? Uh, no. I doubt it. It's just for looks. Uh, you're right. It might be a wind tunnel model. Hmm. So they have a taco stand here, guys. They do. We're gonna go hit it up in a sec. We came here and we saw the McLaren. Taco stand was like a little out of our price range. So, <laughs> we're gonna go head out because there was no burnout. No one did anything with like driving. I thought the cars are really cool, but I really wanted to drive one and they're not letting us. So, we saw everything and we hung out with Bob and Ola and Dan. All right, we're leaving. Let's go drifting tomorrow morning at Willow Springs. Okay, that sounds good. Two Supras. We're doing it. What? It's so early in the morning right now. It's like 4.55. We're driving to the shop to meet up with the Norway boys. You guys ready? Yeah, yeah. Okay. We've been driving an hour, barely hit LAX. So, maybe eight o'clock we'll be there, maybe. We'll find out. These guys are just sleeping. No, we're not. They're all sleeping. Just like Norway. Oh yeah, is Norway asleep right now? Oh, the traffic. Oh, the traffic's just, yeah, definitely not. <laughs> all right, we made it to Willow. If you look close, there's a Supra right there under that cover. We'll find some Supras later though. So we're gonna go do balcony. And that's a tight fit. So, gotta go get the cars unloaded, camera set up, and then Mark's gonna show up. And then Ola will probably figure out what he's gonna do. Walk the track a little bit, maybe? Yeah, I guess. They've never been here before, so maybe we'll drive over and look at Horse Thief and some other tracks. <laughs> Seventy-five, but Ola's gonna do some testing on that. Um, kind of figuring out if he's gonna try and run Pro One next year or do Pro Two, but he's gonna feel out some 275 today. Um, in the meantime, I changed some stuff in the rear of my car, changed some rear settings on the shocks, 
something I didn't do earlier this season, but I want to kind of get a feel for it and see if there's, you know, something better uh, setup wise that I could be more comfortable with or if what I had was what's good for the way I like to drive in the chassis. The most competitive, but easy for me to drive, I guess, would be what we're looking for. So I'm gonna real quick kind of go do a, one test lap. We'll probably, fit, we'll try and film every lap out here, but, um, and we'll make change, like drastic changes in between to see if like, oh, I hate that or I like that. So it's always good to do this. I don't get to do it too often because we're at the shop working, but this is gonna be a good test set. So, about to get back in the car for the last set of tires. We've been making a lot of adjustments, finding a different area in the shocks that we like haven't really played with before, where we didn't go this low. So we're finding different ways to make grip with like lower shock settings and then higher tire pressure, which will help. So then we always know we can go down in tire pressure. Things like that are just always valuable to know for different tracks and formula drift. Um, the next and tires are working great today. Uh, also, Ola's kind of feeling out his car with the 275s. It's working out really good. And so we're going to go back out there, do two to three more laps, and then it looks like we're done for the day. But so far, I had a great day. Lots of fun. Hopefully, you guys like the footage. Some next end tires. Put in a lot of work today. Successful day, right? Best day in a long time. Yeah. We learned some stuff, figured out new things for our cars, had fun, got to know our driving styles better. We both still like Supras. And there's still cars left. Yeah. Both cars are pretty much okay. I tried to hit a wall, but I, I missed all the walls. Dang. <laughs> next time. <laughs> next time. I just gotta load up and then we'll head out. We're still driving back and it's dark now. It has been dark when we started the day. We used up every bit of sunlight, went drifting, and now it's dark again and we're driving back in traffic and we're still like North Long Beach so you never know how long until we're back to the shop, maybe like an hour, hopefully sooner, but that's probably more realistic. Then we're gonna unload, so that was a long day. But worth it. A lot sleeping. Not sleeping. Nah. Almost. He's not sleeping. It's worth it. <laughs>
It's worth it. We had fun today. We made it back, guys. Okay, so we had one more exciting day in our life. Go, oh, Supra. Renee Supra. We're gonna go say hi to the people, then unlock everything. Whoa, is that a race? Race huh? Prius. Race Priai. Shop, where are you? Okay. Hi, Joe. Hey, dude. <laughs> How was it? It was How all right. Was it? it was fun. Yeah. What? How was it? It was fun. Good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. We're back. Let's see where Renee is. Hi. What did you get to do all day? We went drifting. Ooh, hey guys, what do you think if I made a skateboard deck with my super on it? Comment below how many people would buy it because I kind of want to make one really bad and then we could sell them in person at events. Maybe ship them too. What do you guys think? Okay, let me know. Thanks for joining us today, guys. Don't forget. Rad merch is on radpartstore.com and you guys should subscribe. Everyone should be subscribing because we're going to keep making cool videos for you. Okay, see you later. High five.